Oh, here we go. There we go. Look at him. <laughs> okay. Right after you missed yours. another fish tails episode tomorrow morning i'm going to be getting up real early with my dad and we're going to be getting out for some salmon fishing using some crankbaits uh nishini crankbaits flicker shads all sorts of things and we're hoping both can hook up i'm also wearing my new fish tails jersey that's available for purchase you can actually get this merch from fusionjerseys.com i'll leave a link in the description and it'll take you right to it you can get the pro jersey it has the logo on the front and on the back has some of the sponsors in the front as well that I use in some of my tournaments. I also have a couple different options with some budget jerseys that don't have quite as much print. So feel free to check out the link in the description at fusionjerseys.com for some awesome fishtails merch. Catch you on the water tomorrow morning early. Setup today is just a simple flicker shad. Got the upgraded size two treble hooks and I'm gonna switch out lures here and there so I'm gonna be lazy and just put a really strong swivel on snap swivel that I use for trolling and hope we get some fish here I'm gonna be casting this out pretty much as far as I can and not doing much with it just simply reeling in real slow getting it to dive down and be seen by these fish cruising and staging getting ready to spawn here so that's about it, just a simple retrieve. This thing will dive down about eight feet on a cast and it's about 12 to 15 where we're fishing, so it's not gonna be bouncing off the bottom. Just a slow retrieve like that, steady and if a fish hits it, you'll know. Hold on. Well, changing the battery out, dad just had a big salmon come and break him off he needs to get a bigger stronger leader on wasn't using enough pound test all right let's see if I can hook into a hungry one and not have it break me off oh here we go there we go look at him <laughs> okay right after you missed yours just pounded it <laughs> there we go that hit so fast after I cast it too I mean that had to be what five seconds just hammered it <laughs> wow maybe he's got the Yozuri in his mouth wouldn't that be nice <laughs> okay all right we're gonna go hunt him down I think Yeah, let's go. Let's go hunt him down. <laughs> okay, he's about to spool me here. Hang on. Chase him down, folks. Here we go. <laughs> that was two fish in about three minutes. With this flicker shit I have on here, I put on some bigger hooks. Put a size two treble hook that would hopefully not bend out. Would have been nice to hook up during the Manitowoc kayak tournament a couple weeks ago, but I got skunked and so did 36 out of 40 other kayakers and uh, that did not turn into a video. Come on. Let's surprise him from behind here and net him. Uh, I see the leader. It is a long leader. Here's the swirl. I'm gonna bring him to this side here. Got my dad, it's our birthday weekend. His birthday was yesterday, my birthday's tomorrow, so what better than a salmon to have? Oh, there's the lure. And it's right there where you want it, in its mouth. Look at him, he's just pulling the boat right now. There he is. Took the flicker shad just after my dad lost one. Come on, come on. Okay. It feels like he's stuck on something now. Okay, I think I got him out, whatever he was stuck in. 
think he's coming up now. Come up. Oh. Stay out of that. Here, push. Push away. Let me get this. There we go. Okay. Good switch. <laughs> Got out of that rope. Now we can chase him down. Come on. Oh, he's hooked pretty well at this point, I think. <laughs> Try to bring this guy head first in. He's getting close. And boy, do they have energy. Come on. He just doesn't want to stop, I tell you. All right. This fish is the most persistent, stubborn salmon I think I've ever seen. Had him up to the top, he got down, he's still swimming, uh, he doesn't seem to tire, not going belly up. Oh, now he came up, here we go. I felt him. Wait for the leader, hold on. Come on, it can't even, it can't be that deep still. Oh, and now he's starting to bury his head again. It's like he's in a river fighting the current and the weight of the fish all at once. Whoa. That was a huge head shake. What's going on with him? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like I just caught a new fish. I don't get it. All right, I'm bringing him back up again. Come on. Oh, oh. look at that. <laughs> that is one straw. I mean, did that look like a tired fish? Oh, this is a lesson on how to bring a fish in, and I'm failing the lesson right now. I think I'm watching you. are doing a great job. Well. Don't let him get too close to the back because these are chains down here that anchor. Oh, okay. Yeah, good to good to know. Yeah, luckily I've stayed out of some of these other ropes and stuff that have been tied up to the sailboats. This salmon did not want to be caught, but I'm telling you, his time is numbered. Here we go. Now the sun can get a good view. And go out for him. There we go. Woo! There he is, and it's a big one. He's a fat guy. Here he comes. Here's the big boy, just got him on the flicker shad. Birthday salmon, dad lost one. I happened to hook up. Big old 25 pounder on the size two upgraded hooks. Awesome fish. Look at this guy. Milwaukee Harbor, gotta love it. I'll let him go.